live in a world obsessed with rich celebrities. But do you know what's even more jaw-dropping than a super rich star? A well-known rich person who loses it all and ends up homeless. From professional athletes to child stars, these rich and famous individuals all suffered terrible downfalls. Speaking of being careful, let's make sure you're extra covered by not only hitting that subscribe button, but activating those notifications too. Danny Bonaduce. If you're old enough to have watched television in the 1970s, or you just like to binge watch old shows, then there's a pretty good chance you've seen actor Danny Bonaduce in action. As a child actor, Bonaduce made his name on the popular Partridge Family series, where viewers easily recognized him thanks to his freckles. Now in his 50s, he's not homeless anymore, but for a while there, things looked pretty bleak. You see, after the Partridge family ended, the number of jobs available to Bonaduce dried up. Then he got involved with drugs. Unemployment and drugs ate up all of his money and the former child star actually spent a period living in a car behind Grumman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. There he lived for a period of the late 70s and early 80s. Strangely, because he was still famous, Bonaduce would meet with fans in front of the theater by day, and then when no one was watching, he'd slip back behind the theater to his car where he spent the rest of his time. Fortunately, over the last 20 years, he's been able to turn his life around and is no longer homeless. Brett Butler If you watched a lot of TV in the 90s, then you likely know who Brett Butler is. She starred as Grace in ABC's hit series, Grace Under Fire. In the show, Butler's character was strong and independent. In real life, things weren't so solid. You see, despite being the star of a network show and having a very good paycheck, Butler started down a slippery slope thanks to drugs. It was actually while she was shooting Grace Under Fire that her addiction started to affect her work, and it all ended up playing a role in the termination of the show. Having moved out of LA, Butler fell off the face of the earth for several years, and nobody knew where she was. Apparently, she had moved to a farm in Georgia, yet it was later learned that she ran out of money and was actually living in a homeless shelter. That's right, the one-time star of a hit show had lost it all and was living in a shelter. Since 2012, Butler has been back on the grid and building up appearances in a variety of shows and movies. Randy Quaid From Independence Day to Christmas Vacation, Randy Quaid has one of those faces that's so recognizable. He was never an A-list celeb, but he definitely made good money after appearing in many Hollywood hits. Nonetheless, over the last several years, news about Quaid has not been good at all. There haven't been any new movie roles, and all indications are that the Hollywood money's all gone. He's been arrested for failing to pay bills, and even had a run-in with the law for squatting in a house that he didn't own. To take problems to a whole other level, you could say that Quaid didn't just go through a homeless phase, but he also went through a period where he had no country. Convinced someone in the United States was out to get him, he and his wife left for Canada, where they tried to claim refugee status. Canada said no, and he ended up bouncing back and forth across the border for a while. Today, he's getting back to nature in Vermont, and he looks the part. Heck, even cousin Eddie had at least a motorhome. Sugar Ray Williams Professional sports can be a great way to make it big and get rich fast. After all, how many young sports stars do we see today going from rags to riches? Unfortunately, as the story of Ray Williams shows us, it can all go south in the blink of an eye. Williams achieved the dream of so many aspiring basketball players when he was drafted by the New York Knicks in 1977. Over the next decade, he enjoyed a solid career, retiring in 1987. Despite living the life of a pro athlete for so many years, retirement brought problems and Williams struggled with his finances. By 1994, the bank was empty, and this former nba -er filed for bankruptcy. It cost him his family and his home. Even his NBA pension couldn't help after it was lost in a scam. By 2010, he was living in his car and surviving off donations and any work he could pick up. He did manage to turn things around a bit when he got a job and got married. Unfortunately, life can be cruel sometimes, and he passed away in 2013. Robert Driscoll is it just us, or are the lives of child stars filled with scandal, health issues, and a whack of other problems? After all, we've already mentioned Danny Bonaduce, but you can also include non-homeless actors like Lindsay Lohan and Haley Joel Osment. 
Nonetheless, since this is all about rich people turned homeless, we'll stick with that theme by introducing you to Robert Driscoll. More famously known as Bobby, Driscoll was a big-time child star of the 1940s and 50s. If you look at Driscoll's career, everything seemed set up for financial success. He was a Disney star and so big that Peter Pan was modeled on his looks. In fact, for a couple decades, he was steadily employed making appearances on radio and television. In the early 60s, it all went downhill. America's golden boy started running into trouble with both the law and drug use. Released from prison in 1965, he moved to New York looking for work. Nothing materialized, and Driscoll spent the last several months of his life homeless and living on the street. When kids found his body in 1968, he had been living in an abandoned apartment building. All right, everyone, it's time for our Riches to Rags quiz. Do you know approximately how many people filed for bankruptcy in the United States last year? Check those credit scores and bank accounts while we show you five more people who went from having it all to being down in the dumps. Iran Barkley. As you've already seen with the story of Sugar Ray Williams, money can come fast in professional sports. That said, it can also disappear just as fast and leave the star athlete in a bad situation. Iran Barkley found this out firsthand. Nicknamed The Blade, he was a one-time terror in the boxing ring. Active throughout the 80s and 90s, this former boxer held championship titles in three different weight classes. Throughout this successful career, Barkley earned millions in winnings. After retiring from the sport, those millions of dollars in the bank account started to vanish quickly. As it turns out, cars, jewelry, and fur coats cost quite a bit of cash. In no time, the money was gone, and this champion boxer was out on the street. In the early days, Barkley spent most of his time sleeping on the subway because there was nowhere to go. A boxing comeback attempt in the early 2000s didn't pan out, and when reporters wanted to meet with him, they found him in a cheap motel in the Bronx. Since then, information is sparse, but all indications are that he is no longer homeless thanks to the help of family and friends. Natasha Leone. Whether you're into teen movies from the 90s and early 2000s or major Netflix hits, odds are that you've seen more than a little of Natasha Leone on the big and small screens. Her fame all really started in the late 90s when she starred as the best friend of Tara Reid in the hit American Pie. Fast forward several years and she struck gold again, playing a female inmate in the hit series Orange is the New Black. In fact, if you look at this 38-year-old's resume, she's been working away and making lots of money for some time now. Yet, there was a little blip in the early 2000s. You see, around 2004, things went south for a while. Despite on-screen success, Leone started running into personal problems and the law. She had charges brought up against her, was evicted from her apartment, and hit rock bottom when she showed up at a New York hospital in really bad shape. She admitted herself with a fake name, suffering from hepatitis C, a heart infection, and a collapsed lung. Reportedly, she also had many track marks on her arms from drug use. Having been living on the street, things definitely were at rock bottom. Fortunately, she was able to turn things around, got a place to live, and found steady work back in entertainment. Willie Ames. At one time, Willie Ames was a very successful television actor. Throughout the 70s and 80s, the one-time heartthrob starred in such shows as The Swiss Family Robinson, Eight is Enough, and Charles in Charge. With the end of the 80s, the acting gig started to dry up. No problem, right? After all, having had so much high-profile work before surely left him with a ton of dough in the bank. A celebrity lifestyle and massive hospital bills from treating a disease his wife suffered from quickly ate up all the money. Ames turned to selling some of his property, but that wasn't enough. Eventually, the bank came and took everything, and his wife left him. Penniless and without a home, this one-time TV star was left sleeping under bushes or inside parking garages when he couldn't find anyone willing to take him in. Over the last several years, it appears, he has been able to turn his life around and get off the drugs. Sure, he's a long way from the success of the 80s, but we're thinking anything is better than having to sleep in a parking garage. Rocky Lockridge. Ask any boxing fan who Rocky Lockridge is, and they'll tell you simply that he was a champ. He made his name in the ring in the 1980s and fought in some rather high-profile fights. Perhaps his most famous moment came when he knocked out Roger Mayweather in the first round of their 1984 title fight. However, unlike other sports stars who got into drugs and alcohol after they retired, Lockridge admits he was abusing while he was boxing professionally. 
This meant when he left the ring for good in 1992, the 44-9 boxer was already facing an uphill battle. In the late 90s, he was arrested several times. After getting out, he had no money and no home and spent several years living on the streets in Camden, New Jersey. Incredibly, a chance encounter with a bully put Lockridge's name back into the headlines. Confronted by a bully, Lockridge threw a one-two combination and knocked the guy out. The whole thing was recorded by a passerby and put up online where it went viral. Around the same time, an intervention by family seems to have turned things around and Lockridge is, at least, no longer homeless. Margot Kidder Long before the DC reboot that gave us the new versions of Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, there were the original films dating back over a few decades. One of the more popular franchises was Superman, starring the late, great Christopher Reeve. Of course, no Superman is complete without his love interest, Lois Lane. In this case, Lois was played by actress Margot Kidder. The Canadian actress was very busy during the 70s, 80s, and 90s, but it was really her role as Lois Lane that made her famous. Nonetheless, for a brief period in 1996, everything fell completely apart for Kidder. Known to suffer from bipolar disorder, Kidder suffered a massive breakdown and vanished for several days in the Los Angeles area. Now, technically, she wasn't homeless, but the way people found her, it was clear Kidder was in need of immediate help. It turns out that for several days, the actress had been living on the street using bushes and cardboard boxes for shelter. When she was finally discovered in an LA suburb, Kidder had no money, was missing some teeth, and apparently looked unrecognizable to those who first found her. Thankfully, she was able to get treatment, turn things around, and remain active in TV and movies. So, do you know how many people filed for bankruptcy in the United States last year? The answer, nearly 800,000. That would be like everyone in Seattle, Washington, declaring they were bankrupt. Fortunately, we aren't going to have to declare bankruptcy, but our time with you is up. If celebs, lavish lifestyles, and gossip get you going, then be sure to check out the rest of our awesome videos available at The Richest. Just remember to secure your investments with us by clicking that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll see you around. Bye-bye for now.